So putting the um, putting the computer or the decoder in is a little bit of a there's a bit of a trick to it. Um, you notice that little you got that little brass contact down there. It's very very small. You got to hold him in. Those contacts have to go on the inside of these contacts here. So first trick is you've got to put the end that end in first. It's got to dig in and then push down and then slot along. So we're going to um, put the end in there like that. Then we're going to get these little brass contacts and hold them in. So very, very fine. We hold them in and we just slot that down like that. And then once it's in, we can actually move it forward like so. And it has actually locked itself in. So it's gone in between these two parts here and it's moved that direction. So usually what happens with this is this side goes in fine. The little brass contact is in behind this big copper tag. Uh, copper tag, sorry. I keep saying brass, but they're copper. Um, and on the other side, this one often sticks out. And you'll notice it is actually sticking out. Oh, I've actually got it in behind. But sometimes what you can do is just lift this tag a little bit like that and just slip the other one under. But that has to be a good contact under there. So just make sure it is a good contact. Um, you might find that when you put the engine on the track and you go to program it, um, you can read the, you can sort of read it um, using your programming, your DCC programming, but you can't make the engine, the, you can't make the wheels move. And that's generally because there's enough signal coming through one side to uh, work the decoder and get the um, address, etc. But there's not enough coming through to drive the wheels and and, and power it so um that's usually one of these tags is not connecting it's normally this little guy down here the tricky one all right so next thing is we pop the uh the um tr the trucks on the bottom so you'll notice in there there's a little little hole where was my pointer there we go there's a little hole inside there so what's got to happen with the trucks is you, I do them upside down, so you go like that. If you hold it upside down, see how the truck, the little um, drive shaft falls down. You want that little drive shaft to be pointing down, and you just want to. It's very hard to do this on camera, but you want to just slot it in there. Give it a little wiggle around like that, and when it feels like it's sort of in there, you should be able to just clip that, push this down a little bit like so and what's happened now if i got it the right way around it should have if it's you know i just felt it click there they are clicked so what's happened now is these little guys these tiny little tabs here have clicked so they're the ones that you push to pull the trucks out and what i tend to do is i just get the little pointer in there push and i just draw it down a little bit same on the other side, there's another one. Get both of those, and then you can just, the trucks will come out, just use the gra gravity, will just pull those out. So, so that's pretty good. He's he's all fixed in there, the drive shaft's fitted. And now same thing at the other end, exactly the same end, same thing. We've got the little, here he is, the drive shaft, drop him down, just give him a shake. There it is, it's falling down. And we want to just poke that in there. Poke that in, give it a little wobble. It's very, very small, this, of course. I think it's in there now. Yep, and it should all just fit in and just give that a little clip. There we go, I felt that click. And now that's in, and the dry shaft's fitted. So again, again, these little clips here all, all suit up. All ready to go, that's looking pretty good. Just double check, those tags are still on the inside. They haven't popped out while we've been doing that. That's all good. Um, decoder's all locked in. Next step is to uh, just drop the engine on. I'm going to show you a little trick here on how to get the uh, how to get the cover off. Well, first thing is you put it on the right way around, of course. But um, they just they really just fall on. They just sort of fall on and just give a little tap, and and, and she's on. It just clips on. So that's pretty much your engine. Now, the trick to getting this off is like this. Um, Find a little surface like that and just drop it right on the front. See that? Oh, you probably did it. I'll push it back on. You just, just drop it on the front like that and it will just drop off like that. So they clip on, clip off. They're pretty easy. 
that's how they go. So now we'll give this a little little go I go and see how she runs. <laughs>